Hello everyone, my name is Katarzyna Oleska and I am an illustrator for books. Um, today I would like to talk to you about uh, two things. Um, one is going to be a short description of um, the sketch that you can see um, being painted on the screen. And uh, the other thing is the program that I used to create this, this sketch in. So, um, just just to give you an idea of what we're looking at, it's a it's a sketch for a cover illustration, um, and uh, that's the sketch that I that I presented to the publisher. And on the basis of this sketch, uh, I created uh, a book cover uh, to um, Terry Pratchett's Weird Sisters book. It's one of uh, nine books that I had the pleasure uh, to work on recently and um, it, it depicts three witches if you're a fan of Terry Pratchett books you probably know them it's Magrat, Granny Weatherwax and Nanny Og and uh, they're brewing a potion <laughs> uh, as we go I'm gonna try to 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 talk a little bit more about what what's happening in the screen and uh, at some point I'm probably just gonna uh, play you some music, uh, but at the end um, I'm going to include uh, the final version of the illustration and um, also also the final uh, book cover with with the lettering and everything. So um, yeah, apart from that, I would like to talk to you about this awesome program that I've recently come across and I totally fell in love with. It's called Krita and it is totally free <laughs> and um, you probably think that a free program can't be a good or can't compete with the big names on the market but I can assure you that's not true um, this program uh, is free of course you can download it from um, uh, from the website um, Um uh, you can also um, donate some money if you want it's not obligatory or y you know you don't you, can't, you don't have to do that um, but um, yeah you can, you can donate so many because uh, people who are developing this program from the start at the beginning they were just doing it for free and they were they were um, you know sacrificing their free time to work on the program uh, but obviously the program got more and more complex and um, in order to to work on it, uh, the programmers had to uh, work on them full time. So it was only uh, smart to 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 raise some money, to ask people to donate some money, uh, and 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 help them um, uh, to, to just you know drop the jobs that they were doing and and focus on on creating this program. So um, if you want to donate the money. Uh, you can do it on their website, and you can also support their Kickstarter campaign right now. They're, they're raising money for the next year of developing the program, and the program is getting better and better. Um, what you can see me doing on the screen right now, I'm working in the older version, but now I have a newer version of Krita, and it's it's amazing. Um, it's it's a little different. Um, it's the same, but it's it's different. It's better, and. Um, I really, really, really like it. So, um, uh, well, first of all, uh, one one more thing about Krita. Um, it is definitely a competition to to Photoshop and Carl Painter. I actually stopped using my old version of Carl Painter um, in favor of this program. Uh, what you can see me doing right now is I'm working on two different windows, uh, and the new Krita. Uh, Krita, sorry, and then you Krita, you can you can work in one window, but the old version would open one file at a time, so you would have uh, a separate window for each open file, and uh, in this case, those uh, windows were um, one for the file that I'm working on, and the other one uh, a new image um, of the same file, so uh, I can see what I'm doing in detail, and at the same time, I can control the whole picture. Because whatever I'm doing on the right is is happening on the left as well, so um, it's it's a really cool thing, and and I, I use it very often with my works. Um, 
and um, so so the left window is left without any dockers. You can do it in Krita. You can you can totally um, control the settings, the the dockers that you use. And as you can see on the right, the window that I'm actually working on has uh, a lot of dockers open. Those are the ones that I find necessary in my work. So it is the brushes um, with um, uh, predefined brushes. Uh, because this is actually a preset tag called Kasha, which is my name, and it, it contains the brushes that I like most. Some of them are the original brushes that come with the program, and those are the ones with nice little icons. <laughs> the one, the ones with blobs and and heart shapes and and <laughs> other interesting um, interesting things in them uh, are my custom brushes that I created, and. Um, so, so this is, those are my presets. Those are the um, the brushes I use most often. And then you have tools underneath. Um, all the tools that you can use: um, brush strokes, uh, shapes, um, um, it, all kinds of um, selection and um, uh, control um, tools. Uh, some paint buckets, ingredients, etc., etc. Very cool tools. On the right, you can see the reference image. Right now, it's open on my on a previous graphic that I painted. I'm trying to make sure that Granny Weatherwax looks the same in all the um, on all the covers, all the illustrations that I create. So I'm using my own uh, painting for reference. But there, you can, you can use any kind of graphic for your reference. It's really um, very uh, a very very um, useful tool. And then underneath you can see advanced color selector that I like to use and layers um, and channels. I don't use channels too much, but I use layers and advanced color selector. So um, I, in a while you're going to see me using more colors because right now I'm working on two different layers. One is the line art and uh, the other one is going to be colors. Uh, right now I'm refining the first sketch that was very, very loose and sketchy. I'm, I'm bringing in more details, but I'm not being very detailed at the same time, I'm not being very meticulous about it. I'm just kind of painting and having fun and creating shapes. Um, th that's just the sketch. Uh, when you're working for a publisher, you have to find this uh, good balance between works that you um, deliver, that, that they are, uh, you know, the, the balance between them being too de detailed and not detailed enough. You don't want to do too much so that in case uh, the publisher doesn't like your work, um, you don't feel like you've wasted a lot of time developing the sketch, but at the same time you need to uh, be detailed enough to sell your idea to make the um, uh, the the publisher like your work uh, enough to tell you to go ahead and finish it off. So, um, yeah, as you go, as you as you as you learn, um, as you work for different publishers, you kind of learn along the way. Um, at the beginning, it's probably better to 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 develop a more complex sketch rather than have uh, a sketch that is not developed enough and is not going to show. It what you want to do so but but as you go you will develop your own technique this is mine I like to do line work then I do colors then I do um, a little bit of um, uh, color adjustment etc etc and then I send it to the publisher and if they like it I, I continue working on the sketch and develop it into uh, the final graphic so um, I think I'm gonna leave you at that um, the the video shows <laughs> clearly what what's going on on the screen. Um, I'm gonna finish the 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 sketch soon and start working on my colors on a different layer. Um, now I can see I've been working on more layers, but the the, the idea is the same. Um, line work on top and then colors underneath. Uh, you can see uh, the Terry Pratchett um, lettering <laughs> um, on top. I just took them out from the previously um, designed cover to see what the lettering is going to look like on top of this illustration. If it's going to look nice, and um, yeah. Oh well, one more thing. I don't know if you've noticed. Right now, I'm working in uh, mirror mode. I love this. I can 
flip one of the images um, uh, and uh, uh, horizontal sorry vertically and um, also I, I use it very often in most of my paintings I, I like to do that to see if if the proportions if my of my drawings are right if the composition is is looking good on both um, sides and um, it's a very useful useful way of working very very efficient way of checking if your painting works um, and in this program it's really very easy it's effortless it doesn't take the program too much time to to flip the the image because it's I don't think it's really flipping the whole image it seems like it's only flipping uh, the zoomed in window and so it doesn't take that much time and that much memory for the uh, for the program to to flip it over and um, I can still work on the mirrored image and whatever I'm doing here um, on the right is happening on the left in the mirror view so it's really awesome um, okay so um, I hope you enjoyed the video so far I'm gonna um, go now and just play a little bit of music um, if you'd like to download the program again, it's available on www.krita.org. If you'd like to see some more of my illustrations, more Pratchett books, maybe some other works that I've been working on, uh, please visit www.katarzynaleska.com. Uh, you can see the um, address on the screen right now. Um, if you'd like to drop me a message or if you have any questions, uh, there is some contact information over there that you can use. And um, I hope you're going to like the rest of this video and hopefully I'm going to create more of such videos in the future. So um, see you next time.